Hey, smart blokes. It's March 22nd. I just woke up about two hours ago. And yesterday, as I was looking for material for next week's What's Happening in the World, I came across this article in BBC News, just published again yesterday. And before we discuss it, I'm just going to read it so we're all clear. The lead, or the title, is as follows. Just Stop Oil, Why Protesters Are Tying Themselves to Goalposts. And you can see here a photo of a man. Looks like a zip tie around his neck and the goalpost. And I'm just going to read straight from the top. If you've been watching the football recently, the football, go! Okay, you may have noticed there have been some pretty weird stoppages. It has nothing to do with VAR or the action of players. Protesters have been running onto the pitch and attempting to tie, handcuff, or glue themselves to the goalposts. It so far happened during four matches with varying levels of success. In the game between Everton and Newcastle on, on Newcastle on 17th, March 17th, the match had to be stopped while security attempted to remove a 21-year-old Luis Kenchi, who was eventually cut free using a pair of bolt cutters and was led from the ground to booze from the crowd. Mm -mm, can't interrupt their sports game. Mary Side, Mercy Side police have confirmed that he was arrested and charged with pitch encroachment and aggravated trespass. Who is responsible for these protests? The group that has claimed responsibility is called Just Stop Oil. They describe themselves as a coalition of groups working together to demand the government to stop exploration, development, and production of fossil fuels just like oil, gas, and coal in the UK. Quote, we must urgently end our reliance on fossil fuels to avoid irreversible changes in the Earth's climate system. Their website says. The group says it wants action both in the short and long term to reduce demand for fossil fuel energy such as home insulation and renewable energy. There's another photo of a man holding on to a, a goalpost during the Arsenal and Liverpool game. If the tactics seem familiar, it's because like other groups such as Extinction Rebellion and Insulate Britain, Just Stop Oil claims to be willing to use, quote, non-violent and civil resistance to make their point in public spaces. That includes things such as boycotts, mass protection, and disruptions. Some people have criticized these types of methods of being too extreme and creating too much disruption to people's lives. Oh boy. After protests during the Everton game, presenter Gary Lineker said in a tweet whether, quote, you approve of this young man's methods or not, he's right. His future is perilous. What the people involved say. In videos and messages posted online, those involved in the action have spoken about their involvement. Kai, 20 years old, locked onto the goalpost at the Emirates Stadium during the Arsenal versus Liverpool match on 16th March. I don't quote, I don't want food, he says, I don't want food to run out for me or my loved ones when severe weather event mess up our food supply. I don't want billions of people to be forced from their homes, quote, he says, quote, he continues, if we lose control of our climate, which is exactly where we're headed at the moment, then we put everything and everyone at risk. They forgot to put a quote. Uh, it continues, my generation won't have a future. Here's another photo of a protester. Continuing, Lewis said, quote, it's 2022 and it's time to look up, time to step up and not stand by. Quote, it's time to act like it's an emergency, quote, he adds. Christy, who attempted to disrupt the Wolves versus Lead games on Friday, said, quote, it's ordinary people who suffer the most. He added, I trust the people, and the people need to know how serious this is. Speaking before the Tottenham and West Ham match this weekend, Nathan, 22 years old, from Coventry, said, quote, right now, millions around the world are reduced to fighting for their lives rather than watching football. Continuing, quote, we don't have to stand by and watch this ha happen. Ordinary people can say no, not in my name. Sport is not the only thing the group is involved with in disrupting with protesters pictured at the BAFTA Awards. Just Stop Oil has not yet responded to Newsbeat requests for further comment. So what a demonstration. Um, first off, I applaud them. And I made a video several months ago about if I was younger, I would be, be participating in the exact same sort of demonstrations and protests. Um, really, there's no excuse now, but in some way, I'm, I'm kind of doing a different sort of protest, nonviolent. I'm just, I'm trying to exit the monetary system as much as possible. However, 
what perhaps these individuals, courageous, you know, bold individuals, don't realize is it's impossible. And I know a lot of the other, some other channels make this effort about saying we should keep, you know, researching and doing our best, but it's like, by the time you add up everything, you know, and can even, even if, let's say we started today, we would still, we would still get to like 5C, including everything, methane, uh, nitrous, uh, conversion, building, I mean, we, we wouldn't, we wouldn't survive. And, and even the, the, the more frustrating part is these individuals are like 0.000001% of the population. And people, the rest of the population is unwilling to give up their privilege. I've learned this recently. And their comfort make sacrifices in any way to stave off their own demise. They would, they would prefer death than giving up driving their Chevy, or watching sports games. And I say that with confidence because I even, let me just give an example. I have a dear friend here who, despite knowing everything that we know about climate disruption and the emergency we face, insists on slipping in little tidbits about the sports games going on with me. Even though he clearly says, I know you don't care. Yes, I don't care. Every single fucking person is dead in less than 18 years. I do not give a fuck about sports. Okay? Don't even bring it up. I don't even care if you value it. Okay? It's straight up stupid at this point. Millions of people are suffering. No one gives a shit about throwing a ball in a hoop. Or whatever. A goalpost. Hats off to these individuals. I talked about doing nonviolent protests recently. Going to the White House. You know, going to Congress. But, um... It wouldn't do a lick of good. Overpopulation and anthropocentrism have corroded our existence. So anyways, cheers, mate, and hope you guys have a good week. I'll be streaming later, and don't forget to like and subscribe, share if you want, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.